some of you guys heard about what happened to my guitar let me show you the video and we can talk about what happened to my guitar it's so crazy it was insane it was a magical movement it was like david copperfield magic it happened when it happened i, I was told nita strauss she was watching the show at the back she was screamed she's like ah there was a bunch of people in the backstage that screamed watching the show on the side of the stage let me show you what happened and we're going to talk about it screen yeah did you see that have you ever seen anything like this Look, see it once again, look. You never see that anywhere else in the world. <laughs> I had a meeting with Porridge Smith, the team. It was already scheduled for a couple of days later, actually. And let me show you what really happened here. And I'll tell you what, the wood broke apart, not the actual joint. The wood is still here. Glue, the set in neck, the glue, the glue didn't come apart. It was the neck. The wood broke. Isn't it crazy? We were pushing the limit of the guitar with this design. I drew this neck joint and they made it happen. So when I kicked it with the force, it separates, the wood came out while the neck joint was still intact. So this was a great test for a guitar because only way to test a guitar is to go on tour and play it. It's like a race car. You build it, you, you race it, you break it and you fix it. When I had that meeting with Horace Smith a couple of days later, I didn't know if they saw the video or not, but they said, Herman, show me the guitar. Obviously everyone's seen the video. It's been going around. When I showed him this, he was so happy. Paul said to me, this is great. It's not the glue giving out. It's just the wood. Anyway, we found a way to fix it already. It's a very easy fix how to reinforce this. So it's not even a problem. We're gonna do some things to it and it is like an easy fix, but we were just pushing the limit of the guitar with this build. It's unbelievable. Look, I can't even put this back in. That was insane, huh? We're got the solution to fix this it was crazy when i kicked it i saw this guitar fall apart i mean i wasn't pissed off i was going oh fuck it just came apart but we'll have a fix for it am i actually going to go up to prs on the next version of this guitar get dirty and really get into the shop work on the body with our hands and then redraw on the computer redo a few things do a different kind of process instead of doing it remotely i'll actually go in there and make it happen but this is crazy yeah you see how this neck came apart you never see this people smash up the guitar there i just kicked the fuck out of the guitar oh so yeah there you go this happened pushing guitar design to a limit and that's why we test these things on tour you know just play around chunking around doesn't really work you gotta go and play on stage and do it for real so this will be the strongest guitar once this, this little problem is solved it's no big deal easy fix we'll get to it but it was pretty wild the screams on the back of that stage was wild no one's seen these things before i'm sure you've never seen this thing happen before. so i brought it back in a suitcase this guitar came back in a suitcase i wrapped it around clothes Didn't even need a guitar case crazy yeah you can say I broke a $25,000 guitar with a knee strike on stage in front of, what is it, 70,000 people on the main stage at Hellfest. There was a lot of people watching this. I guess this guitar is worth at least $25,000, maybe more. Compact design, just put it in your suitcase. And mind you, at the same time, I found out a few more different things about this guitar, this prototype custom guitar for me to modify. So the next version will actually be even much better. It's so wild that the glue didn't give up, but the neck, the wood gave up. That's how you test a guitar. You go on stage, you play it, you break it and then you fix it some more and you design it and you build it correctly. That's how you do it. And if people think, talk about the Ibanez guitar, why it didn't break? Well, the Ibanez guitar was custom already transformed. The factory model didn't have it glued. It was a bolt on neck glued. We had to do a bunch of work on it to make it even stronger for me to play on stage. On this custom guitar, I'm making it out of the box already strong and ready. We're gonna fix it. We're gonna put that guitar back together, by the way. We're not gonna just leave it in two pieces. I'm gonna send it over to PRS. They're gonna glue it back together for me. And then we're gonna break it some more.